I'm Mr. James from Charm City Karate. This is our chat from the mat on Indomitable Spirit. Uh, this week we are talking about uh, your core beliefs and how that works into Indomitable Spirit. Now, remember it's indomitable. That means you can't be beat. It is not abominable like the snowman or abdominal like your abdominal like your, your abs. Um, so, last week we talked about how an indomitable spirit is kind of like uh, being stubborn, but in a good way, all right? So, to reiterate, that it's stubborn in a good way, not a bad way. So, like if your mom or your dad came in and they were like, hey, uh, go clean your room, you wouldn't be like, no way, I'm not cleaning my room right now. I have an indomitable spirit, I'm not cleaning anything. Because that's, that's bad, so you wouldn't do that. If your parents asked you to clean your room, you would say, yes, sir or yes ma'am, and you would go do it. Uh, but if somebody said, uh, here, take these drugs, you'd be like, no way. And you'd stick to that, all right? That kind of good stubborn. Uh, now, this week, like I said, we're gonna talk about core beliefs and not letting other people change them for you, all right? Not letting people talk you out of them. So, core beliefs are things that you believe in or things that you think are really important. And you should never let somebody change those things or talk them out of talk you out of them just because they think that they're wrong or uh, they say they say or think something different. Okay? It's it's okay for different people to have different views, but somebody to just say, "Well, that's stupid." You shouldn't be like, "Yeah, you're right, it's stupid." Okay? Maybe you want to change your mind at some point, and that's okay. But it shouldn't just be because your friends told you it was dumb. All right. In fact, somebody telling you something's dumb is the worst reason to change it. All right. So let's say uh, <clears throat> you love karate. It's one of your favorite things to do. And one of your friends is like, Ugh, you're doing karate again? That's stupid. You should quit. That's not a reason for you to just be like, you're right, karate's dumb, I'm gonna quit. Okay, maybe you should tell your friend, it's not stupid, you should come with me and try out a class, I bet you'd like it. If they don't wanna do it, that's cool. They don't have to do it with you. But it's something you love, so why should you give it up? All right? Maybe you like math class. Maybe you think math is the coolest thing. One of your friends is really bad at math, and he says, math is stupid. That's no reason for you to go, yeah, math is stupid. You love math. Why should you give it up just because your friend doesn't like it? That would be silly. You shouldn't do that. The world needs mathematicians. It's good that you like math. No reason to give it up. Here, I'll give you a nice example of reasons you shouldn't just change your mind about stuff. Um, what color is the mat I'm sitting on? I say it's blue. You don't think it's blue? But I say it is. Are you going to change your mind? You're not. What if I really say it's blue? No? Okay. So, you can see how silly it would be for you to change your mind just because I said so. There's no reason to. This color right here, you've known your whole life as red. So, you're not going to change what you know as red, just because uh, I'm telling you it's blue, why would you? Same thing with your other core beliefs. You know them. You know what they are. You shouldn't change them for other people. Um, this is a good place for your indomitable spirit to come through. All right? Let it keep you on the track of what you know is right. Don't change it just because somebody else thinks something you do is dumb or not right, whatever. Okay, stay with who you know you are. All right, so I'm Mr. James. Have a great day. I'll see you guys next week.